Hey guys, so last night I filmed the what's in my iPhone tag for you guys and I totally forgot to film an intro, so I am doing it right now. I have the iPhone 5S, which most of you guys know if you watch my unboxing video. So yeah, if you want to see what's in my iPhone, then just keep watching. Thanks guys. Bye. Okay, so this is my iPhone. If you guys watched my gold iPhone 5S unboxing, you would know um, that I have the gold iPhone 5S, so this is just what it looks like. I just have a plain clear case on it. I know I said that I wanted to get a bumper for it so you could still see the gold part on the back, but I couldn't find any really cute bumpers that I loved, so I just went ahead and bought this at the Apple Store. It was $29.99, which was like super expensive, I thought, for just a clear case. It's from the brand In Case, which is like, I think what most of the cases are at the Apple Store, but I just really needed a case. I didn't want to have to order one online because I was too scared that I would be clumsy and drop my phone before I, the one from online arrived and then I would have already like shattered the phone so that's why I did go ahead and purchase this one but so far I actually do really like it um, and I like that you can still see you know the gold of the phone and everything like that so yeah I have the gold iPhone 5s nothing too fancy for the case just a clear case but now we will get into what's inside Okay, so the background on my phone is kind of like a workout inspiration type thing. It says the only thing between you and your goal is you. And so on the iPhone, you can like just use your thumb and then it unlocks it right there. So this is what my home screen looks like. First thing, obviously, messages, contacts, calendars, videos, camera, maps, stocks, iTunes store, app store, reminders, settings, all those things typical on every iPhone. Then the first little folder is the utilities folder, the one that comes with the iPhone. And here we have the clock, the calculator, the compass, and the voice memos. I use the clock all the time to wake up. Those are always my alarms. And then the calculator I also use all the time. Um, I'm just not the best at math, so I do always use that. I have actually never used the compass or the voice memos, but you can't delete the Apple apps that come on the phone, so that's why they're still there. Next, I have notes. That's just how I like store everything. When I think that I'm going to forget something or not remember something, I put it in the notes section. Then here we have newsstand. I don't use that. FaceTime, I don't use that either. Um, I don't know, like I just don't FaceTime with my friends or anything like that. I don't know. I know some people do that. Um, I just call them or text them. I don't really use FaceTime. Then the first actual app that I have that is not preloaded on the phone is the Weather Channel. I am crazy about checking the weather. It's like a weird obsession that I have. I always check the weather to make sure, you know, if it's going to rain, I have the right shoes on or, you know, if it's going to be sunny, what the temperature is going to be. I always check the weather. And especially now, since it's fall time, the weather, at least in New Jersey, is like some days it'll be really hot outside and the next day it will be freezing. So I always, always check the weather to kind of see um, what it's going to be like. Now, this first app here is Facebook. You guys know I don't have like a Facebook page or anything for my channel just because I don't use Facebook all that much. I just kind of do have a personal Facebook, but I don't really use it all that much. If, if anything, I'll just use it to stay in contact with people, you know, like some family members and stuff like that that don't have Twitter or Instagram. But besides that, I really don't use Facebook. And I will show you guys later how I got these different apps, like these pretty apps that are not the normal ones, like the background, how the Facebook, I have like Cheetah and then Twitter and all stuff like that. So I will show you guys that towards the end of the video. So next one is Twitter, which you guys know I use Twitter all the time and if you don't follow me on Twitter you should um it's at Kelly Downbar Jane XX or not Downbar I always say that Kelly underscore Jane XX um I'm most frequently updating on Twitter and Instagram I tweet a lot throughout the day just little things so yeah if you guys want to follow me on that that would be great because then you can really keep up with me and what I'm doing um so yeah this is Twitter you guys probably know what it looks like the next app is Instagram, and you guys know that I am on Instagram all the time. This is my personal Instagram. Again, it's the exact same thing as my Twitter, Kelly underscore Jane XX. So yeah, this is my Instagram. I love Instagram. I try on Instagram every day, like something, either whether it's my outfit or some makeup that I'm loving or something like that, but, but I do update Instagram a lot. So yeah, absolutely love Instagram. Always using it, always on it. The next app is the YouTube app, and I'm obviously using this and checking this all the time, except I really hope that the YouTube creators somehow make so that I can comment back to you guys using this app, because then I would be able to comment back to you guys so much quicker, because currently, right now, the only way that you can comment back to people is you have to be on 
your actual computer or laptop. You can't do it on this app. So hopefully soon they will fix that so I can comment back to you guys on my phone because then I will be able to get back to you guys way quicker than usual. So yeah, that's YouTube app. I'm sure you guys know about that too. Down here we just have the phone, the email, iTunes and Safari. Okay, so the next page of apps I have, just the first one is a little app I made myself that just brings me right to my YouTube channel so I don't have to always type it into Safari. It's just more convenient where I can get right to my channel. You can really just make whatever app you want on any website just right to your phone. So I did that for my YouTube channel. Next is my picture editing folder. This one is pretty cool. The first one is Insta Collage and this one I use all the time and this is just to where you can like take multiple pictures and make it into a collage for Instagram or whatever you want. I use that all the time. The next one is Insta Size. This one I also use all the time because you know how Instagram kind of cuts off your picture so it's the size of the Instagram box. What this one does is makes any picture into that size. It like resizes it so you can get the whole picture in the Instagram box. So I use that a lot. The next one is Perfect 365. I actually don't use this, but it's actually really cool to play with. Lauren Curtis from Lauren Beauty, I believe is her YouTube name. She tweeted about this and um, you know, said how it was really cool. So I went and I downloaded it to check it out. And it actually is really cool. Basically you upload a picture of your face and then it puts like different makeup looks on your face and it like changes your face. So like, I mean, personally, I wouldn't upload a picture of it cause it doesn't even like look like you after you do it. But um, it's kind of cool just to experiment, I guess, with new makeup looks and stuff like that. But I should probably delete it because I don't use it. I actually don't use a lot of these. The next one is the More Butte 2. I don't really use that either. It's pretty much the same thing as Perfect 365. You can kind of try on makeup looks and uh, stuff like that with it, I think. The next one is Instant... Insta Editor. I don't use this one either. I downloaded that a few days ago. I'm not quite sure what it does. I think that you can put text on your pictures with that one. I think that's why I downloaded it. I forget exactly. Next one is Your Moments. That's also another collage app like the insta collage but i just like the insta collage one better so i don't really use that one i should delete that the next one is space effects this one's kind of cool you can put like stars and like pretty dots and stuff on your picture just to kind of make it a little more fancy and whatnot so i do use that sometimes the next one is the reflection app i use this all the time this is how i get in some of my pictures like that mirror kind of look to my pictures where it's like me and then me again um, you know, like a reflection. So I do use that all the time. I think it looks really cool. And then the last one is Picgram. I just downloaded this today, actually. And this one, you can like kind of take like phrases and stuff and like overlay it on your picture, but then you can still see your picture, but then you can see the phrase too. It's kind of cool. So yeah, I like that, but I haven't really tried it yet. So yeah. Next one is the Tag for Likes app. This one is kind of cool. It just basically shows you hashtags for whatever picture you're putting up on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. So like here, like if I was to upload an outfit of the day, I can go right to fashion and then fashion and then it shows me like all hashtags that I could put on my picture so more people can access it, which is kind of cool. Next one is followers plus and then find unfollow. These are both for Instagram and Twitter and basically they just show you like new people that followed you, people that unfollowed you, people who you follow that don't follow you back, just stuff like that. The next one is Bank of America. So that just shows, you know, me for my debit card, my credit card, stuff like that. Then I have Pinterest. I actually don't, I do have my own Pinterest, obviously, but I don't really pin too many things on my own anymore. I kind of just go on Pinterest to look at other things that people have pinned for like fashion and makeup ideas and stuff like that. The next app is Fat Secret and I use this one all the time. This is by far, in my opinion, the best like nutritional tracker app that is out there just because I use this all the time when I am out to eat because it has a huge database of restaurants and their nutritional um, information about their food. So, you know, let's say I'm out to eat at Applebee's or whatever with my boyfriend, I can go on here and type in what I'm eating at Applebee's and most likely it'll be able to tell me the nutritional information of what I'm eating. So I just think this one has the biggest selection of restaurants that you can choose from. So I use it all the time personally. The next one is NutriFactor. This one, I'm actually not on Weight Watchers anymore. I was a few years ago, but I still kind of convert a lot of the things that I eat into Weight Watchers points just because I got so used to it. So this one, you can put in the nutritional information of any like food product and it will convert it into Weight Watchers points. I just still do that out of habit a lot, I think. I don't really know why, but yeah. The next one is Retail Me Not. This one I use a lot actually. This is like a coupon app and you can kind of go in and see like coupons for certain stores and whatever like, it's not working really now, like the Children's Place, Yankee Candle, JC Penney's, Express and it'll show you all these coupons and then you have it right on your phone. So I do use that a lot when I'm shopping. Next one is Snapchat. I used to use Snapchat all the time but I don't really use it too much anymore but I still have it on my phone. Then the next one is Gas Buddy. I do use this all the time. Basically you just go into it 
and um, you can put like where you are. Well, you have to sign up right now. I'm not going to sign in, but you basically just, you know, it finds where you are and then it'll show you where the cheapest gas around you is, like where all of the gas stations around you are, but it'll show you the price. So then you can find where the cheapest gas station is because I personally hate paying for gas. It sucks and it's super expensive in New Jersey. So yeah, I always use that to try and find the best deal when it comes to gas. Now I have Google Maps. I happen to think this is a lot better than the actual like Maps app that comes on the phone. I just think Google Maps is a lot better and tends to not lead me to the wrong place a lot. So yeah, I use that a lot and you know, I use the Maps app too. So yeah, I use that a lot as like a GPS and stuff like that. Next one is Pandora. I'm sure you guys know what Pandora is. It's just kind of like an online radio station kind of thing. And I actually have a funny story about this. The Pandora app is super hard to close out of. Like after you close out of it, the music keeps playing. And the other day I was taking an exam at school and something must have hit the Pandora app on accident in my purse. And it's turned on and it was playing, literally blasting Gucci Mane in the middle of my exam. And it was super, super embarrassing. I like ran out of the room because I could not get it to stop and shut off. And I thought for sure my professor was going to like freak out, but she was actually pretty understanding. Standing. So yeah, super embarrassing, but still it is a good app and it's free. So I use that a lot. Next one, find my iPhone. This is just in case, you know, anybody steals my phone or I misplace it. I'll be able to find it. I'm pretty sure this actually came on the phone. I didn't even download it. The next one is the photo album. I just kind of moved this to the next page because like I don't really click on the photo album. I always click on the camera and then click on the album little button at the bottom. So yeah, I just moved it to the next page. Now I have my, um, Another weather app because I prefer to use the Weather Channel app, not the one preloaded on the phone. And then this one is like Game Center where you can play games and whatever. Um, I don't really play games on my phone. You guys will see, I obviously you probably already saw. I don't have a lot of apps on my phone at all. I'm not the kind of person that just downloads 5,000 apps. If I download an app and then after like a week or so, I don't use it, I delete it. Um, so this is literally all I have for apps. I don't have a lot. The last one is this folder. So you'll see all this all the social media that was on the first page, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, the actual app here. And then Cocoa Pop. Coco, I think it's called Cocoa Pop. I'm not sure. Uh, this app right here. This is the app that I use to change my apps the way they look on the first page like you guys saw. So you can just go in here and like pick any background you want and then download it and it will change it into the pretty apps like you guys saw on the first page so yeah so these are all nice and pretty and then these are the actual real apps because you can't delete the actual real apps because then they won't actually work you need to still have the real apps so i just put them in a little folder with that coco pa app so i still have them but these are the apps that i actually use and how they look pretty but that's why when i click on them it like goes like that and then into it so yeah Kind of weird, but I like it. I like how they look pretty on my screen. So yeah, that is all I have on my iPhone. I don't have a lot. Like I told you guys, if I don't use an app, I delete it. I don't know, I'm just kind of like a person like that just because I take a ton of pictures and have a ton of music on my phone. So I don't have that much room to fill it up with apps because I do only have the 16 gigabyte one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.